Bang! What is up, our Will Feel Number One fans and viewers? This is Scott Casey Gale, Will Feel Number One, and today I'm going to give you my recap and reveal of The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 5, entitled What It, it, what it Always Is. It was directed by Laura Belsey and written by Ellie Jordan, and it was really a great episode. I really enjoyed this episode. Three episodes left for the first half of Season 10. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? Here we go with the recap. Callie becomes disoriented due to her hearing loss and gets lost in the woods, but is later found by Dill, Connie, and Magda. Aaron encounters Gamma and offers, and offers her bandages as she cuts her hand. Gamma flees and informs Alpha of their, inter, of their interaction. Negan is found by Brandon, who idolizes Negan. Brandon murders a mother and a, her son in in an effort to impress Negan, leading Negan to kill him. At Hilltop, the community works to rebuild the wall, while Ezekiel reveals to Siddick that he has thyroid cancer. Magda reveals to, to, to Yumiko that she killed a man who attacked her young cousin, causing a rift between the two. Negan crosses into the Whispers territory and is attacked by, by Beta. And I would give this episode five stars Two thumbs up, way up, and a, and, a, and a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed this episode, especially Negan in this epi episode. I, I, I like how Negan, I, I like how Negan, um, I like the conversation that Negan had with, um, I, I like the conversation that, um, Negan had with, um, the, the kid that, that was murdered by Brandon. I like how uh, when Brandon murdered the mother and the kid that Negan just lost him. He just brutalized him and, 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 and bludge, bludgeoned Brandon to death with a, with a rock because Negan does not like, her, like him when people kill kids. So what does this mean for Negan? Because uh, I know in the comics, um, he does join the Whisperers. So, and, 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 and the show is really starting to follow the comics. It looks like we're going to see Negan versus Alpha. Which, which I think, I, which I think the end is, um, like, in a, like I said, said in a, many of my videos before, Negan is the one that decapitates Alpha in the comics. Are they, it looks like they're going to go down with that one. I think, I think that's, I don't think that's going to happen in the mid-season finale. I, I think that's going to happen in the actual season 10 finale. That Negan's going to decapitate, um, Alpha. So, so I'm looking forward to this Negan and, um, Whisperer's relationship and, 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 and what, what, it, what it's going to do to, do to him. Because in the previews, they say they don't trust him and you, you know why. And and I wonder um if if um and, and I was really shocked to hear that Ezekiel has thyroid cancer on the show. So so does that mean his character is gonna end up dying of thyroid cancer or, or is he gonna survive? Or how how is this all gonna play out? How is this all gonna play out? But anyway, there's like I said, there's three episodes left for the first half of season ten, and it's going very very well. I'm really enjoying this. I've said it many times before. Angela Kane has really taken The Walking Dead into a new direction when she came on board in season nine, and she in season ten is even better. I'm really enjoying this, especially the stuff with the um, whisperers. Anyway, you stay classy, live long, and prosper, and peace. And comment down below in the comments if you tell me what you thought of this episode. Anyway, you stay classy, live long, and prosper, and peace out. And tomorrow, I will be back here to do my recap and review of the Mayan season two finale. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Have a good day, everybody, and have a blessed day as well.